Hi, welcome back to Robin's Violin Studio. Today we will be talking about various bow games and exercises for the young student learning the violin. I've compiled a list of different bow games, songs, and exercises. Um, none of them are my own creation. I've learned them either as a child myself in the Suzuki method or during my training to become a Suzuki teacher. I hope you enjoy them. All right, so we're gonna start off with a classic, and this is one that I knew, that I did myself even as a child, and that is Up Like a Rocket, which I'm sure many of you in the Suzuki method know this, and maybe even outside the Suzuki method. So we're gonna start off with a great bow hold. Okay, and I've got my tiny bow here. I found this on Amazon, and if I can find it again, I'll put a link in the description box. Now to make up like a rocket more fun, you can put a little fun character on your bow, anything you can find, or even I've got a jar of rings. My students know about this. And I've got various rings that they can put on their bow. So I'll put a ring on there and let's do up like a rocket. Up like a rocket down like the rain, back and forth like a choo-choo train, round and round like the great big sun, round and round like a great big drum, land on your head, curved pinky bent thumb, land on your hand, check pinky, check thumb, land on the ground, and then you are done. So the goal with Up Like a Rocket is to keep our good bow shape with a bent pinky or a rounded pinky and a bent thumb and to be really practicing this right hand independence so our violin hand is you know not having to assist very much. All right so that's Up Like a Rocket. Next is another classic and we all know this song Wheels on the Bus. And you can pretty much modify a bow motion for any lyric of, of wheels on the bus. So I'll just do a couple of them. And I got my good bow hold. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The windshield wipers go swish, 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 swish. The windshield wipers go swish, 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 all through the town. And there's many more lyrics that you can do and you can really extend this in a practice session or in a lesson so that the child gets a lot of time working on their bow hold. All right. This next one's really fun, um, and a fellow teacher of mine taught this one to me uh, in, well, when I was in college, so I really enjoy this one, and so do my students. All right, now I'm gonna use my actual bow this time, um, and I'm gonna have my hand out here, and you'll see why in a minute. So this is one little bow hand. One little bow hand, one little bow hand, one little bow hand. Tap, tap, tap. Point your bow hand up, point your bow hand down. Put it on your shoulder. Again. One little bow hand, one little bow hand, one little bow hand. Tap, tap, tap. Point your bow hand up, point your bow hand down, put it on your knee, your shoulder. One more. One little bow hand, one little bow hand, one little bow hand, tap, tap, tap. Point your bow hand up, point your bow hand down, put it on your nose, your knee your shoulder and we'll shake our hands out so with that one they're holding they're practicing their bow hand and they're also practicing remembering a pattern 
so you can continue and add different body parts or even do the floor or the wall. Another fun way to practice our, our bow hand. All right, so I think that's it for my singing. I'm not, uh, I'm not a vocal teacher, as you can probably tell. All right, so um, the, next, the next game is a great one for really small children. Um, three years old, four years old, five years old. This one's really great because it helps to help them um, with their focus. So you're gonna help them get their bow hold or maybe they can already do it on their own. You're gonna get their bow hold. And it's a little hard to do with myself, but you wanna have some little toys. Like I've got this little unicorn here or a kitty or a dinosaur is great as well. All right, and we're going to have them plant the tree into their other hand. So they've planted their tree. Now I'm gonna move my hand, but they keep theirs planted. And that unicorn's gonna come up and climb up their hand and climb up the tree. And they're gonna watch as that, that toy, that animal climbs up the tree and their job is to keep the tree straight and they get up to the top of the tree and they say, oh, I see some, some snacks up here. Well, what do, what do unicorns eat? I see lots of strawberries up there. Can the unicorn eat those strawberries? And the child usually says, yes. And they eat them, yum, 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 thank you, and they hop off. And they, you know, you can do that many, many, many times and it's very entertaining for the small student. Okay, the young, young student, okay. Great. The next two are fabulous for group class. Um, and I'm going to hurry it up because I don't want to go over my 10 minute limit I think that I have. So pass the cup. I'm sure you all know this one quite well. So you've got a little cup and you can have different sizes and make it different levels. But they've got their cup and you have all the students sit in a circle. And if you're in a private lesson, maybe mom or dad could have a bow hand and they've got the cup too. And you know, the three, the teacher, parent, and child, will do passing the cup around the circle. Now, I don't have, you know, two people here, so i got my two bows. But they simply pass the cup, and they pass it to the next person, and then it comes back. You get the cup, and you see how many times you can go around in that circle. All right, another favorite in group class is the ring of fire. So these are really old now, um, and you could do much better job crafting than I have, but we've got a big ring, a medium ring. So this, this hole is getting smaller here, all the way down to tiny, tiny hole. And you hold this up, and the child has their bow hold, and they come right up, 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 and their, their goal is to not hit the edges. And if they do hit the edges, you go hot. And they get really excited about that. So, but their, their goal is to not hit the side and then come back down and doing that with all the different sizes of rings. You can also do this just by holding your hand out and having them come up through your hand. All right, some exercises for older students. These are pretty basic. Um, you can just do this with a fun repetition game like stickers, you know, how many times can you do this, building blocks. Um, there's lots of ways to do repetitions. I might even make a video. But we've got our, our windshield wipers. This is a great one to do. We've got opening and closing, up and down, very important. Pinky dips. Now it's a little hard to do that with a tiny bow. You just dip and push. See how my pinky is working there? Dip and push. Um, ah, and the infamous spider.